Okay. Hey there, everyone. And thank you for joining us on Back Talk, the talk show for Black parents. Now, today, we have the inventor of Swimmy Caps, Yolanda Flornar Perkins. Yay! Well, Black girls can swim. Welcome, Yolanda. Thank you. <laughs> I am so glad to have you on our show. This is new for us using the Be Live platform. So I'm really excited, guys, to show you her product. She is a mom, a mompreneur, an entrepreneur. She is really doing it. Let me just put up really quickly. I'm going to show you a picture of her swimmy caps there, um, that what she does. And we're going to scroll through just show you a few of the, the designs that she's created, which has basically um, images of African-American children and children of color to basically promote positive self-esteem. Right, Yolanda? Yes, absolutely. So tell absolutely. us a little bit about how you got started and, and how did this whole idea come about? Okay, well, I have to give some credit to my daughter. So what happened is, or we have a swimming pool and my husband loves to swim and he has encouraged the kids to swim as well as myself. And so this particular day back in maybe January or February, we were in a local Dollar General store and my, it was, you know, they were putting up the new seasons for the uh, products for the new seasons. And we were in the swim aisle, the accessories. And my daughter saw a swimming cap and she saw the image on the outside of it. So she thought it was pretty. And so I bought her and my son one. And so when it was time for us to get ready to get in the pool, my son puts his on, no issue. Well, Bella opens up her swimming cap and she thought that it was going to be or have an image of a little black girl on it. And I thought, no, it's just a regular image, a regular swimming cap. And she says, no, I want it to look like the girl in the, in the picture. And I was like, what girl? So what she did was we went back in her room and there was a, um, I purchased from a company online of a silhouette of a natural hair figure lady with natural hair for her to embrace her her natural hair and she thought it was going to be an image like that on the swimming cap and I thought oh okay I was like well no big deal I'll just go online and order you one and and that's what I did and I think I, I tried to do it while they were in the pool then I tried to do it later on that night and a couple of days went by and I kept trying and she mentioned it again did you get my cap and I thought no so I kept doing it kept doing it and then finally I said to my husband I don't think nothing like this exists and I thought there's got it has to exist because they have bags and passport holders and they have umbrellas and shower curtains and they have all this stuff and they don't right. have swimming caps that have these images. And that's when we realized that it didn't exist in, until now. So that's how that came about. Well, thank oh, God for little girls. <laughs> Wow, that came about from her idea from the mouth yeah. of babes, they say, right? It well, is, now, now you come out. How long did it take to, to go from that point to where you are now? Uh, believe it or not, it didn't take as long as I had thought. What took the longest was finding someone that can take, because I don't draw and I have an idea. And up until this point, I, I have lots of ideas. We all have ideas. Mm -hmm. And in some we execute and some we don't execute. And this particular time I said, I'm going to do this different. Any other time I would just rush and just say, boom, bam, 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 here, I have this. And I said, no, I'm going to do this one different. Because up until, the, up until this point, I didn't think every, anything that I was doing was working, in my mm -hmm. opinion. But I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try a different approach. And my approach was, let me first find someone that can bring about my vision, that can bring it, that can let me see it in reality. And so I started searching in groups online and, you know, asking people around who does illustrations, because that's what she saw was the illustrator or mm -hmm. illustration. And so from there, uh, I put out a request in several groups. Nobody responded, no one. And finally, one person responded. And that one person responded. Um, she said, I'll see what I can do. And we went back and forth. And then finally, she said, where's your inspiration coming from? I was like, well, my kids, they, you know. So I sent her a couple of pictures of my kids. And from there, um, she basically took my vision and my in my mind and put it in paper and on a uh, computer for me to see. And I thought, oh my gosh. And her and I have been working together ever since. Wow. That's fantastic. Do you want to give her a shout out? Who is she? <laughs> yes. Um, well, I don't know if she wants me to shout her out. Oh, okay. Her okay. <laughs> this is, this is private. We won't, we won't say anything, but they are the cutest <laughs> illustrations. So I'm just going to give her props for that because they are yes. really, really well done. 
Um, yes. I was really impressed. As soon as I saw it, because, you know, we always are doing stories on um, getting more black kids swimming because that the drowning rates are really high Absolutely. for black children. So Absolutely. Anything and that you can is, do to encourage you know, them to learn to swim is, is a big deal. Go ahead. What are going to say? Yes. No, no, you're right. That's exactly one of the things that we wanted that I wanted to highlight and uh, and kind of break that barrier down and, and do away with that. Um, I'm part of a lot of groups and there's a lot of black women and men and kids that really do enjoy swimming. But there is this small stereotype. And there are many reasons why there is barriers that we are not or, or a lot of black people don't know how to swim. And it, and it stems from issues years back. But, you know, we are moving forward and, and, and hoping to use swimmy caps as a means to break those barriers down, to get more kids into swimming, more kids doing more healthy things in the water, in the pool. And I and, and my husband and I always say that if you teach a child how to swim, you don't have to worry about them drowning. And so um, that's one of the reasons that's that's a motivation behind it all. Now, that's fantastic. Have you been able to work with any groups so far to help um, with, your, you know, that you can you know, use your swim caps with? Or there's I know there's several groups out there. Is that in the plans? Yes, there is a couple of uh, groups, uh, organizations that I am um, in the early stages of working with. And so hopefully 2018 um, the world <laughs> will see them um, and see see the fruits of these labors um, in, in, in fruition. Well, we need to get everyone rallied behind these because they're more than just caps that you wear to keep your hair dry. They really have a lot of meaning behind it. Um, the images always to help build self-esteem and children that hardly ever see their images anywhere in books. You know, it's start, starting to get better, but it's nowhere near where it should be, you know, in reflection to the population. So we would like to see, you know, more images like this around just to even just to reflect the statistics of of our existence. So, um, I mean, I had a hard time. I, I remember looking for just a um, a jewelry box with a black ballerina for my, my granddaughter. And I had to go all the way to England to find one. And it, it, there was only one. So I thought, why is there only one? And I can find, you know, the blonde bl ballerina everywhere. And I'm not, you know, blondes are great, but my granddaughter wants something that looks like her to encourage her to, to do these things. So, and she's a little ballerina. So same thing when you're swimming, you see images in your own likeness, it encourages you to do great things and to, to that you can do those things. It makes it real to you. Otherwise, you only see what's around you. And if you don't see people swimming, then why would you even try it? So yeah. I think I think this is fantastic. And the one thing we um, Yolanda, I just our first time meeting guys. Yeah. Right? If you, you don't know that there's a little history here. We didn't even know because um, we, we um, were, weren't raised together. But she is my cousin, yes. like second cousin. And I happen to find out about swimming caps through <laughs> another cousin who I am more familiar with. On Facebook, <laughs> Facebook is a remarkable thing. So this is a family reunion. Yes. Um, <laughs> we, we, we're doing similar things, but we didn't even know. Um, and we happened, I happened to, it caught my eye because someone else posted it in our family. And I said, hey, we, we need to connect and get together yes. because this is very, very similar. Yes. So I'm, I'm very, very proud to have you on the show and to um, do this together um, and just to promote it any way we can. Uh, it's just, it's just an, uh, a great product. I, are you going to, you need to make one for an adult. I would wear that. I totally would wear that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are, what are the plans for your future? That's what I want to know. And I'm going to put up the, uh, the website there. <laughs> plans for the future. I'll tell you my future plans is to, um, put a factory, a manufacturing plant right here where I'm at so that I can employ individuals. Wow. Um, that, is, that is my ultimate goal. That is where, um, you know, my vision board, that's what it looks like. That so, is um, amazing. Yes. <laughs> now, are you are you looking to come out with maybe any other products in the future or is it are you going to stick to swim caps? You know, you know, I'm going to I am this time around. I am going to let the customers tell me what they want. You know, I am going to, brilliant. I am going to produce what they say they want. And I think that uh, that's what will drive me to the next product, to the next thing. I'm going to listen to the consumers. 
Well, you know what? I think that's the best way to go because they tell you what they need yes. and that drives the market as well as there, there may be things that you never even thought of and you're not assuming what they need. So I think you're brilliant for that. And, and that's perfect. That is perfect. So, yeah. it, so it launches today, is it? And you can pre-order it. Tell us all about yeah. that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, right now I'm doing a pre-order for uh, sales from that from today or starting yeah, today through Monday at 11.59 p.m. And those pre-orders will be uh, arriving the week or will be delivered the week of December 18th in time for holiday gifts. And then from there, we'll, we'll see what the demand says or what 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 I'm going to push to do. Um, like I say, and like I said earlier, this time around, I'm doing things different. I'm not just going to go and get a whole bunch of things because there's four different images. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not sure what images what, what appears to be the images that are going are the, the little curly girl. So uh, so that's what consumers are saying they like and that's what they're buying. So um, but so, yeah, right now I'm doing pre-orders and then we'll go from there. Is this one that yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's that's adorable. Totally adorable. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, and they come in different colors. Yes, there's tons of colors. And the popular one that seems to be um this seems to be requested right now is the white. Okay. Awesome. That's good to know. What colors do they come in? They come in sky blue, white, gray, pink, and yellow, green. And I believe that's it for right okay. now. <laughs> okay. Well, now that's, I mean, you can order them. I put the website up there. How much are they, by the way? Right now, the caps are $15.99 and they are discounted during for the, the Black Friday sale. And then they'll go back to regular price at $19.99. So oh, if you can't buy it. them anywhere else. You can only get them from me because they don't exist anywhere else. <laughs> oh, just wait till they get in the stores. You have to let us know like post yeah. on our page or something when they get into stores, because that's going to be amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, so for the moms who are, you know, working a nine to five that are maybe thinking about doing their own business, but sitting on the fence, not sure how to do it. Tell us a little bit about your trials and tribulations. I'm sure it wasn't like, you know, a walk in the park. It had to, it, you know, it took some time. So tell us about like, like some of the, the things that you had to do and, and if there was any struggles, just kind of give them some insight on, you know, how you came to where you are now. Yes. So for those that don't know and that are watching and tuning in, uh, first of all, I just want to say that you're, you're right. It's, it hasn't been an easy walk in the park. Um, my my background is somewhat a little different, not by choice, but because just life. Um, I actually was in prison. I my senior year in college, um, my senior year in college before I was getting ready to graduate, I was sentenced to three years in federal prison. And wow. yeah, at that moment, I was 20, what, 20? Two twenty three. Thought my life was over. So you know, it took a minute. So to talk about challenges, well, whew, it's been a challenge. Mm -hmm. And then today, um, today I'm I am proving that statistics are not always um, are not always proof. Uh, statistics. I don't believe in statistics. Stat statistics are just numbers. Um, but the challenges I've you know endured is you know barriers to oh. employment. Uh -uh. Well, we're losing your signal a little bit. Hold on a minute. Let's see if it comes back. Oh, I hope we don't lose you on this part. This is a good part. You're telling us how to get there. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. So keep talking. Maybe I'll come back. No, no problem. But I'm here. I am is, here. Is it storming there? Because it was raining no. here. No, it rained no. yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'll just keep going. But but uh, okay. so, yes, I, um, I you know, after coming out of prison, you know, there, there's, there's a lot of challenges, a lot of barriers. One of those barriers, as we know, is uh, to employment. A lot mm -hmm. of convicted felons uh, have an issue with have a challenge. It's not an issue, have challenges to employment. And, and because of those barriers to employment, a lot of times uh, former inmates that have been incarcerated tend to go back to what they know how to do because of the, the challenges with getting employment. So for me, I chose uh, that I knew once I got out of prison, I didn't want to go back. And I, you know, began to surround myself. Uh, with positive people that encouraged me, uh, spoke positive to me, uh, reminded me that, you know, my 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 future is going to be way better than my past. <laughs> and yes, at the time, it didn't seem like it at the time. It was challenging. Uh, but, you know, I continued to speak positive. And, you know, at some point, I, you know, I, I wrote my first book with the encouragement of my my former pastor and mentor. 
And then from that one book, Consequences, uh, it, it opened up other doors. And um, but I want to say that one of the one of the huge drawbacks is that when you decide to to be open and very transparent, there's always pros and cons to being transparent about your past. But I chose to use those those challenges to fuel me positive. Um, I'm, I, I don't encourage everyone to think like this, but I'm more of the person that uh, when you're getting ready to jump out of an airplane, I like to see if the parachute works <laughs> while I'm jumping. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I don't encourage everyone to do that. But I guess what I want to say from that is to you're going to always have some naysayers. You're going to have some doubts. Even yourself, you're going to say to yourself, this is just not going to work. Even with these swimming caps, there's no way no one's going to buy a swimming cap with a black girl on it or a black boy. No one's going to do that. You know, but unfortunately, uh, the consumers have said different and, and they're buying. And so um, we have to we have to just go off of, of, of our gut and just go for it. And I always say never leave no stone unturned. No, and you sure did. And you know what I'm going to try? Let's try this. We have like a little bit less than five minutes. Do you want to try okay. to refresh your screen and I'll bring you back in and see if that clears your screen? There we go. Let's see. See if we can get her back uh, and uh, see what happens. Okay. She's coming back now. Let's see if I see her. Huh? No, I think her screen is blunt. Let's see what happens. Don't know if we're going to get her back the way she was. I don't know. I think we're having some connection issues because I can see you're here, but now I can't see you or not. So if we don't get her back, um, you know, we will, I will put the information up for you to get this one cast. Just try to refresh again if you can hear me and we'll try to get her back again. But that it's amazing. I'm just going to show you the caps while we're waiting for her uh, webcam to come back online. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about here. This is really, really cool. So they're for male and females, male and females, uh, swimmy caps. So uh, good. I'm glad you can hear me. I just don't have you on the broadcast. Yolanda, if you can try to just come back into that link and see what happens. We'll bring you back in. We're running out of time. No, we have like three minutes left. If we can get you, we will put you in here. Um, meanwhile, I have you there. Uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. So let me put up the web sites for you guys. So this is where you would get these wonderful little swim caps here for your child. And I highly recommend these. I think they're great for for having likenesses in, in your own image. It um, As early childhood specialist, it builds your self-esteem. It makes a, a child feel proud to wear these um, types of images um, so that they think they, you know, they actually matter in the world. So having these images um, are very important for poor children. It, it really is. All right. So I want to thank you all for coming um, to watch Back Talk. I want to thank Yolanda for coming on Back Talk. We can actually catch up with her again in the future to see how she's doing as a mompreneur. And if you're watching, be sure to follow us on social media at Black Parenting One. We were the first Black Parenting Magazine in the nation. So you can follow us at Black Parenting One on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And until next time, we will see you soon. Bye-bye.